Hi, my name is Bailey Lemieux. I'm Callie Turner, and we are here to do a book talk on The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. This book contains 480 pages. It takes place on Wrightsville Beach in North Carolina in the town of Wilmington. The main characters are Ronnie, Steve, Will. The main problem is Ronnie is forced to live with her dad in, over the summer, and her dad hides his cancer from Ronnie and her brother because he doesn't want it to ruin the summer. The main idea of the story is a brother and his sister who goes to live with their dad for the summer, and they find an unexpected love, and they reconnect with their dying father. A reading selection um, of our favorite part is a letter that... Steve writes to Ronnie when he is sick. It reads, Hi, sweetheart. I'm proud of you. I haven't said those words to you as often as I should have. I say them now not because you choose to stay with me through this incredibly difficult time, but because I wanted you to know that you're a remarkable person. I've always dreamed you could be. Thank you for staying. I know it's hard for you, surely harder than you have imagined it would be, and I'm sorry for the hours that you're going to inevitably spend alone. But I'm especially sorry because I haven't always been the father you've needed me to be. I know I've made mistakes. I wish I could change so many things in my life. I suppose that's normal, considering what's happening to me, but there's something else I want you to know. As hard as life can be, and despite all my regrets, there have been moments when I've felt truly blessed. I felt that way when you were born, and when I took you to the zoo as a child and watched you stare at the giraffes in amazement. Usually those moments don't last long. They come and go like ocean breezes, but sometimes they stretch out for forever. That's what the summer was like for me, not only because what you did, what, what you forgave me. The summer was a gift to me because I came to know the young woman I always knew you would grow into. As I told your brother, it was the best summer of my life, and I often wondered during those idyllic times how someone like me could have been blessed with a daughter as wonderful as you. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you for coming, and thank you for the way you made me feel each and every day. We had the chance to be together. You and Jonah have always been the greatest blessings in my life. I love you, Ronnie, and I've always loved you. And never, ever forget that I am and always have been proud of you. No father has ever been as blessed as I as. Dad. We like this book for many reasons. For one thing, Ronnie is near our age. And another thing is, this is realistic. It's not a fairy tale. This could happen to anyone. It's not like you find a magical dragon in your backyard. That can't happen. But having a dad with sickness so you haven't really been the best daughter to, that can happen to anyone. Also, it is really good at describing relationships between best friends, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, brother and sister, and especially father and daughter. We think this book is recommended for um, 13-year-olds and up. Um, the gender would probably most likely be female. Um, the genre interest would be romance and drama, and it's, it's a really realistic fiction book because it didn't happen, but it's a really good book, and we just love this book in general. We did a lot. So, thanks. Bye.